Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. And what I want to talk about in this video is something which I suppose is a little bit political, but something I find funny. And again, it's coming out of my old country, the United Kingdom. And this is where they're threatening to send people to Rwanda, illegal immigrants are threatening to send them to Rwanda. You know what? How can I be sent to Rwanda? I'm a British citizen, I have a British passport. Can you send me to Rwanda? Can you send me to Rwanda and like give me somewhere to stay until I set up my business? And I think they're giving them like 3,000 pounds. I've never got anything from the British government I haven't worked for, I just got taxed. So you know what? Rwanda is like one of the jewels of Africa. It's got a lot going for it, it's a very organized country. I know Americans are buying property there. They're going there to invest, they're looking to retire to Rwanda. Why? It's stable, it's clean, it's, um, I've not heard anything bad about Rwanda. Everybody I know that's been there loves the place. Weather's good, a lot of nature, people are very, very nice, etc. Now compare that to UK where it sucks, the weather suck, the people are miserable, the economy's screwed up, it's woke, it's woke, it's very, very woke, it's a nanny state. Where would you sooner be? I know if you give me the choice between being in Rwanda, which I'm sure I could do a lot of business in Rwanda, if not, be a nice place to live, or being in UK. I don't know why anybody wants to live in UK. I don't know why people spend money to live in UK. Somebody said to me a while back, oh, everybody wants to come to UK. Yeah, the people that want to come to UK are the people that want to come and, uh, the, the illegal immigrants that want to come there for the benefits, to live on benefits and to abuse children and get away with it. That, that's the people who wants to come to UK. Illegals looking for benefits and paedophiles. In the meantime, back on track, you know what? Why don't they just do a swap system where they offer British citizens the chance of, we'll relocate you to Rwanda and an illegal immigrant can take your place in the UK because I think there's a lot of Brits that would be saying, you know what, we'll sooner live in Rwanda than we would in UK. Um, so to me, it's a, a no-no. So if anybody knows, if, any, if there's any illegals out there that know how to uh, scam the system, and they're the ones that usually know how to scam the system, and they can uh, swap places with me and get me a place in Rwanda for their place, well, I have my British passport, uh, let's talk business. There's gotta be some way of doing it, right? If they identify as something, I'm not identifying as anything else, but if they want to identify as something and we can, uh, we can swap places, I'll happily uh, take a ticket to Rwanda and residency in Rwanda, thank you. Because I'm sure I'll, uh, I can, uh, it'd be a, it's a spot that I've been looking at, so uh, why not get the British government to do something for me for the change after I paid taxes there for how many years and got zero in return. In the meantime, follow me along for uh, more of these videos. Um, I've been laying off the political videos lately because there's too much going on and I'd just be offending too many people, but such is life, eh? In the meantime, be good, stay safe, stay out of trouble, and follow me along. I prefer X, but even though we do have stuff up on, we do have stuff up on LinkedIn and YouTube and Instagram. In the meantime, be good, stay safe, and uh, stay out of trouble. And I'm serious. If anybody wants to knows how I can get to Rwanda with a British passport and get residency and everything else, let me know. Hook me up, Maram.